Hello, Douglas County. It's Tuesday, August 10th, 2021, and I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County and the Public Information Officer for the Fire Department. Welcome to today's edition of COVID-19 Update with Dr. Janet Meemark, District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. Thanks for having me. Dr. Meemark, let me get right to it. The COVID numbers continue to increase. We've been watching it on television, reading in the newspapers, seeing it online. Where are we in Douglas County? Yeah, so, um, you know, not just in Douglas County, but throughout the state, we've been really seeing some big increases that have been happening. And so um, over the last two weeks, we've seen almost a 200 percent increase in the number of cases that have um, occurred throughout the state. And over the last um, um, a week, it's been about a 60% increase. In Douglas County in particular, what we're seeing is um, uh, the case rate of 546 cases per 100,000. You uh, remind folks, I remember anything over 100 um, cases per 100,000 for two weeks is considered high community transmission. So we are seeing well over that. Another concerning statistic that we're seeing is that we're seeing the percent positive now at 19% positive. So that's the tests that are being done. 19% of those are coming back positive. And we have seen that number below 5%, which is where we want it to be to make us feel a little bit better about having less community transmission. And so we do see um, a large increase that continues to happen. How is this affecting hospitalizations? Yeah, so that's also not another um, good metric that we're seeing. Um, what we're seeing now is that we're seeing um, a jump of 20 times more um, COVID patients that we had um, in June. And so this is a very high number. It is approaching our highest numbers that we've seen um, throughout the pandemic. Uh, right now, the the when I'm looking at Douglas Hospital, they are having um, um, critically low um, critical care beds as well as medical surge beds. Um, so we continue to see um, these issues and, and um, people are being hospitalized. Um, what we're seeing, though, is, is interesting because we have had a lot of our um, older folks that have been vaccinated. We are seeing people being, vac uh, being hospitalized that are, are younger than we had seen in the past. So we're seeing people that are in their 50s and younger. And when you look at the, the um, graphs that are put out about our hospitalizations, what you see is that, you know, you see the, the winter surge and how high it had peaked. And then you see this next surge that, that is coming up. And when you look at our older age groups, they don't approach um, how high we had hit in the winter surge. But what we see for any ages 50s and below, that surge has, has gone past what we saw in winter. So we're seeing more people ho being hospitalized this time that er they're in their 50s and below and going all the way through from, you know, um, below 17 years of age or a lot more of them being um, admitted than previously. Dr. Meemark, what about vaccinations? What are the numbers for Douglas County residents who are vaccinated? Yeah, so we continue to, to try to eke those numbers up. We're at 41% right now for a vaccination for Douglas County. So that, that continues to be something that we're trying to, to move up. You will see when you look at areas throughout the country and in, in Georgia of um, places that have higher rates of vaccination, you see lower rates of hospitalization. You see that all throughout. And unfortunately, the, the national average that we're going to talk about is at 59%, right? And so that means there are some areas that have high 70, 80% vaccination rates and have lower hospitalization rates. When you look at Douglas County in comparison to that, that's a lower vaccination rate. So we're seeing a higher admission rate and hospitalization rate than you would normally expect in, in different areas. Is it true that unvaccinated people are being hit the hardest in this latest surge? Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely true. When we looked at our numbers um, throughout the state, when you look at um, the uh, number of people that have been vaccinated, that's about 4.2 million people that have been vaccinated against COVID right now. We had only 9,500 of those that were actually hospitalized, which is 0.02%. And then we had 93 that died. And that is 0.002%. 0 .002. 
that means everybody else is is unvaccinated. So we are seeing numbers that are 93% and greater um, of hospitalizations are unvaccinated folks. And so what you know what we're seeing, I'm seeing numbers anywhere from you know 200% to 700% that the Delta variant is more um, contagious. It is very very contagious. And what we're seeing is that when it strikes folks, it is very virulent when it when it's striking people. And so they are getting Getting very sick. And so, you know, I, we can't say it's more virulent, but it is definitely hitting our unvaccinated people very hard right now. Dr. Meemark, working closely with you, I know that Cobb and Douglas Public Health continues to offer the COVID vaccine for free at the Douglas Public Health Center on Selman Drive. How's this going? And what about COVID testing? Yeah, so it's going really well. So um, it is offered you know monday through friday and it's offered at different locations too if you want to go to you know like cvs or something like that but monday through friday eight to five and you know we haven't had a, a lot of uptick but we have had some uptick in in vaccinations it is there for you it is free um even if you are um, undocumented you can come and get this vaccine and so um it's at selman drive testing we have partners that help with testing right now and so we have um, dc pulmonary that helps with that but we're also in talks right now to bring an, another location um, for testing and it'll be there in a couple of weeks um, and it will and to have some Saturday uh, locations. So keep looking out for that. But um, there are different locations to get tested as well. Any advice to parents as children are heading back to school? Yeah, so um, I, I am very um, happy with the Douglas County school system. I think they're doing a great job in trying to do everything they can to keep this, um, keep the students and faculty safe there. Um, right now, with such high transmission, we need to be very good about wearing our masks. Um, and so trying to make sure that if you're sick, you don't come to school, you wear your mask and get tested if you may have been in contact. The, the difference in the Delta variant this time is that, you know, previously you might have gotten um, sick and they, they watch you from two to 14 days and it pops up fourth, fifth day potentially. This one actually hits a little bit sooner. They're thinking three to five days that you can have symptoms right after having contact with somebody. So it would it will happen much sooner. So wearing our masks during this time, that it, you know, it doesn't have to be all the time, but as we can um, try to bring these levels down, and we've done it before, right? This is our fourth time doing this, and we have brought those levels back, and we have um, kind of beat back this pandemic each time in our community. So it's very important to be vigilant. When you're out and about, please wear your mask when you're in stores and different areas, and try to avoid crowds at this point. This is how transmission is happening. So try to go back to some of your you know, more cautious ways until the transmission levels really come down. Dr. Meemark, is there anything else you would like to say to Douglas County residents? Yeah, so, you know, we this is our, our uh, battle against the Delta variant right now, and, and it may not be our last battle, but we have to beat this one back. We know the vaccine works, right? There are some breakthrough cases, and so people that are fully vaccinated that are getting the virus, but it is much less severe than the folks who are not vaccinated. And so please, you know, if you are on the fence about this, please consider getting your vaccine at this time. You are leaving yourself open wide. This virus is looking for people to, to infect right now and to, to propagate and move on. So please get yourselves vaccinated and wear your mask right now and wash your hands and keep your distance. Those things that we've been talking about. Let's do this for a while so we can beat this back and so we'll all be able to, to move on again. So essentially what you're saying, and it's real, pretty much the same uh, words that Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones is saying uh, of the Board of Commissioners, uh, take the vaccine, Douglas County. Every shot counts. Absolutely. Every shot counts and you're giving yourself a better chance of, of surviving this. Dr. Meemark, thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Have a thank good day.